I get a lot of questions about if the farmer's dog is actually easy to feed your dog, so I thought I'd bring you into my kitchen and show you how I feed our three dogs every day, twice a day. I've already got their bowls here, so we'll just get right into it, and I'll also share some helpful tips because our dogs have been eating the farmer's dog for over a year. And real quick, if you are interested in trying out the farmer's dog after you watch this video, you can get 50% off your first box using the link in the description. Looks like we've got an audience here. So here's all 40 pounds of Miles, Grumpy, and Alfie out here looking for food, trying to get into the video. I think that they know that it's game time. Gonna walk over to the refrigerator here. If you've watched any of my other videos on the farmer's dog, you know that I move a few pouches from the freezer to the refrigerator at least a day in advance to make sure it's fully thawed. We'll just grab one out of the fridge right now. Let's grab this beef right here because it's all three of our dogs favorite. We also get chicken in our orders, but beef has always been their thing. And you can get up to three recipes in every box. On each pouch, you can see when the food was packed and that it was made for your dogs, which is great because when you're getting and paying for fresh dog food, it's good to know it was made just before it's shipped out to you. You can also see that it tells me how much to feed them, which I already know because I do this twice a day, but it's really helpful when you have someone else feeding your dogs if you're traveling. Now this is that moment where you have to find a pair of scissors to cut a pouch open. Of course, I knew that these were right here, so we're good to go. So we just cut off the top, it's super easy. And here's where I think I actually do things differently than most people. So I'm gonna do what most dog sitters do because I think that I'm the weird one here. Normally, I just go from pouch to plate and I eyeball it, but it seems like more people empty the whole pouch into a container like this. I just use this little, you know, reusable takeout container. Chances are you have something like this sitting around in a cabinet at home. A little container like this works really great for us because we only use one pouch a day, so it's very obviously half in the morning, half at night. Obviously this can change depending on the size of your dog and how many dogs you have. So we'll just scoop from the bowl here. It's really easy to tell when you've used half of the container when you're in a situation like we are. Uh, this is probably a lot more accurate than my squeeze straight to the plate tactic, but you know, you just scoop it in. For us, our three dogs are generally the same size and they pretty much eat the same amount of food. Uh, so it's pretty easy for me to, you know, eyeball it, but at the same time know that they're getting the right amount of food. So that looks like roughly half. There you go. And even though Alfie eats a little less than Grumpy and Miles do, I don't really overthink this part because the farmer's dog does the portions for you. So even if I'm not perfect, I know that our dogs are getting enough food and it'll even out day to day. Someone actually left a great suggestion in one of my videos to put warm water inside the pouch to get anything that's stuck on the inside because you might wanna get every single piece of food that you're paying for. Here's a closer look at what the food looks like in the bowl. There's a lot of beef. You can see some carrots in there, some kale. It's all good stuff. You probably already know this, but vegetables are actually really good for dogs. So the farmer's dog is a really easy way to have your dogs eat some veggies without you having to like buy a bag of baby carrots to give them as treats or something. One quick thing is that beef looks like a lot less food compared to chicken, especially when it's frozen because they do the servings based on calories versus volume. So even if it looks like less food, it's the right amount, and I was confused about that at first too. Also, since the food is cooked at a low heat and isn't raw, you can see that there's no blood anywhere, which I know grosses some people out with raw food. It never really bothered me, but I know some dog setters thought it was weird when we used to do that. Because the food is lightly cooked, it actually makes it easier to digest compared to mega processed dry dog food. And since it is real food, it smells like real food, which makes it a lot easier to get your dog's attention because they trust their noses. So if your dog has a sensitive stomach, there's a good chance this will be easier for them to digest. We get a lot less throw up in our house from Alfie here, whose stomach has gotten a lot more sensitive as he's gotten older. Okay, these dogs have been very patient and they're losing their minds over here, so let's feed them. And this is the best part because I know a lot of dogs love food, but our dogs have historically not been the easiest to feed, especially once they get tired of their food and they're just pumped to eat every day. So Alfie gets to eat first. He's our old and loved poodle. Despite what Grumpy may think, he is the top of the dog pyramid in our house. Usually he gives it a quick sniff, but he just dove in today. Also, like a lot of small poodles do, Alfie lost a ton of teeth a long time ago, so the fact that the food is really soft as he gets older makes it really easy to feed him. 
Now let's move on to Miles, the world's best dog, who absolutely hates dry dog food. And it's hard to believe that Miles was one of those dogs that would do the sniff and walk away with his food before, and now he just eats in like two seconds. This same dog right here would go on hunger strikes, brief, you know, maybe a day, he would skip meals, he would throw up because his stomach was empty, and he would even be scared of his bowl. He just had a whole weird thing with food, and it has helped so much to have him really like his food, and it saves us so much time. Okay, let's go over to our puppy Grumpy. Look at what he does. He actually goes over to his spot and sits down because he wants to put on his best face for his food because he loves it so much. So usually I just hold him in place for like an uncomfortable second or two. Then I let him go at it. And Grumpy loves this food. This is just a high energy puppy schnauzer and he puts on his best face for his food. We actually had to move him over here away from the other dog so that he would give the other guys time to eat because he scarfs his food down so fast. He loves this food. Since Grumpy eats so fast and he loves this food so much, you can literally hear him licking Alfie's bowl and he's gonna lick Miles's bowl next. After the second feeding, I will normally put the container on the ground so that he can lick it clean and he will get every single piece out of that bowl after the second feeding. I waste pretty much nothing, and the good part is that it buys Miles and Alfie some more time to eat in peace before Grumpy goes, you know, scavenging in their bowls. So it's pretty easy, right? It's fast, and I never really talk about this in my other videos, but you can see, sorry, as I walk through here, that the bowls are completely licked clean. There is nothing in here. So if you live in a place where you have a bunch of ants or bugs that get into dry food or flies that swarm around if you're doing wet food, this helps a ton with that and lowers a lot of that gross bug factor. And you can still hear Grumpy licking the bowls over here, but back when we lived in LA, we used to have ant invasions all the time in our dry dog food. We would have to throw the bag away. It was a whole thing. It was all bad. Now their bowls are really easy to give a quick wash before we do it again for their next meal. Nothing gross, no crusties, no weird film, just empty bowls. Happy dogs. And that's all there is to it. If you want to learn more about the farmer's dog, I'll cover myself with a few other videos that I've done about my experience with it. I'm gonna throw this second half into the refrigerator, but this food has been a great fit for our dogs, and I hope that this showed you how easy it is to feed them the farmer's dog.